Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're going to be seeing what is the least amount of RAM that Windows 11 23H2 can actually boot on. We've taken a look at every version of Windows 11 so far, including 21H2 and 22H2, but this year, we're going to take a look at 23H2. This, as we can see by looking at Winver, is the latest build, 22631.2428, downloaded straight from the Microsoft website. This OS is exactly as it comes from the ISO. I made no modifications, including not installing VMware tools, as VMware tools could possibly affect the amount of RAM required to boot the system. So, right now we are currently utilizing 4GB of RAM on the system, which is the lowest I could get it to boot on, like the installer for VMware. Um, and we are using 1.9 gigabytes of that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, if you've never seen one of these episodes before, we're literally just going to keep cutting the RAM until inevitably we get a blue screen. So we're going to cut it down from 4 gigs straight to 2, cutting it in half, and we're going to see what happens. Now the one thing I did notice about 23H2 is that the ISO is actually like 6.2 gigabytes, which is larger than any Windows ISO I have ever seen. Not sure why it's so large, I've never had to, like, I don't know why, um, but it is certainly interesting to say the least. So here we are on 2 gigabytes of RAM, we're using 1.3 out of 2. Now do keep in mind that we do have a page file on this system, um, but again, this is all default. I did not change anything, because in past videos like this I got criticized for, oh, the page file, blah 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 blah, but yeah, we're, we're going for the default configuration. We're just trying to figure out what the default config of Windows 11 will do or what the least amount of RAM it is to boot on. So if it creates a page file, then it creates a page file. So I cut it down from two gigabytes to one. We're not gonna continue the trend of cutting it in half. We're gonna slowly start taking it down in like little smaller increments. But here is Windows 11 booting up on one gig of RAM. I'm noticing that the login screen is definitely slower. It's not as, you know, responsive. Um, but yeah, we're pushing 967 out of one gig. We're, we're up there. Um, we're using 94% of our RAM right now. So, okay. Moving on. Let's cut it down to probably, let's go 864. All right, 864 megs of RAM. I don't know why I chose that number, just because it's in the 800 range. Um, let's see what happens. All right, and we did boot up on 864 megabytes of RAM. We can take a look here. We are using 819 out of 863, so 95%. Um, not bad. The system is still relatively usable. I mean, I feel like it. I feel like this is Windows 11 running on a hard drive. Let's see what happens when we try to open Edge, just because I'm curious. Will Edge actually launch, and will it crash our system? So let's take a look at performance here. Uh, we'll, we're gonna try snapping Windows. This is not gonna go good. But yeah, honestly, this just feels like Windows 11 on a hard drive to me. I mean, because I, I use SSDs for everything, so hard drives are just really slow to me. So here's Edge trying to load some web pages. We're actually using about 95% of RAM right now, but they're loading. I mean, we're loading the general Edge browser windows. If we go to google.com, I mean, sure, it's a little choppy, but it's actually kind of usable. If I want to click on another Chrome web store, it's kind of usable. All right, let's go ahead and close those shut her down, and we'll cut her down, probably about 100 megs down to 768. All right, and here we go. Taking a look here on 768 megabytes of RAM. Let's see, 742, we're using 99%, 96, somewhere around 90. So as per percent of used RAM, we're actually doing pretty good. Um, it's pretty consistent ever since we hit about one gig, we've been averaging about 90%. Let's go into the 600 range. I'm going to go, let's say 642. Oh, this time I got unlucky. I couldn't pick a multiple of four. We're going to go 640 and boot this up and see what happens. All right, and here we are with 640 megs of RAM. Windows 11 is handling it pretty well, although it is definitely a little glitchy. Uh, taking a look here at performance, we are seeing 93, 90% of the CPU used, which is good. Let's go ahead and power the system off, and let's cut her down to 5, let's go 520. We'll cut it down 120 megs and see where that takes us. Alright, let's take a look here and see where we stand in Task Manager. Um, so opening up this Task Manager here, I can see performance 96%, 98, 96. 
All right, let's go ahead and shut it down one more time, or actually probably more times, but I just want to say one more time, and let's crank it down into the 400 range. I'm thinking 444, nice even number, symmetrical number the whole way across. Let's boot it up. All right, and taking a look here in performance, let's see, 400 megs, 93%, not bad. Let's go ahead and shut this down and let's keep cranking it down. Let's take this down into the 300 range. Let's go 344, down exactly 100 megabytes. We're getting around the point where OSs typically begin to fail. Um, if I recall correctly, the Windows 11 22H2 failed around 260. I might be wrong. Um, it's been quite a long time since we tested this. So let's see where we stand with 23H2. All right, and here we are. Let's go ahead and try to open Task Manager. Uh, Windows 11 is actually being more responsive than I thought it would. I was expecting Windows 11 to be a chaotic disaster, but I am seeing the Windows problem reporting open in the background, which I'm not sure why, what problems it could be reporting. But we are here, 90% uh, of the RAM usage. Moving right along, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down, and we're going to try again. All right. Let's cut in the 200 range. Let's go 260 and we'll see what this does. So it does look like here it is actually booting. I am not sure how this is working. Um, now we're gonna actually start cutting it down in smaller increments because if we jump too much, we're gonna have a problem figuring out where you know our absolute minimum is. If we go from like 244 to 140 and it doesn't boot, that gives us a 100 megabyte range so we're going to start cutting them down probably about increments of 20 um, assuming that we can get to the desktop here but it does look like we are starting to hit the limit because our taskbar that took quite a long time and our taskbar still isn't very responsive i'm not even going to open task manager on that one let's go straight to 240 okay let's see what 240 megabytes does all right and here we are we have booted into windows so let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, the taskbar is unresponsive. Remember, this is 240 megabytes of RAM. So let's cut this down. Let's see what let's see what 220 does to us if we're able to boot here. All right, so 220 is a no-go. So our absolute minimum lies between 220 and 240. Let's try 228. Can we boot on 228? Because if we can't boot on 228, then that leaves our minimum to be 232, 236, or 240. But it looks like it's booting on 228. Um, I'm not going to let it get... Nope. Okay, so 228 is a no-go. Let's try 220 or 232. Let's see where that one gets us. All right. So it looks like our absolute minimum for Windows 11 is 232 megabytes of RAM. Definitely less than I expected because 23H2 just to me seems like a little bit of a larger operating system that requires more kind of power to handle. So let's get into the desktop. Let's see how bad this actually is and then we'll call it a day. Uh, I believe this actually did better than previous uh, Windows operating systems. Let me take a look and see like what when other Windows versions had to use. So Windows 11 h2 booted on 560 megabytes of ram uh, compared to the original windows 11 which booted on 312 megabytes of ram wow so 23 h2 is actually the most optimized version of windows 11 according to these statistics um, in comparison windows 8.1 ran on 204 megabytes of ram windows 10 was able to get down to 176 megabytes but that was on the 32-bit version um, Tiny 10 ran on 180. Uh, Mac OS Monterey was 404 megabytes of RAM. Unsurprisingly, Windows 98 was 4 megabytes of RAM. Uh, Windows Ubuntu 22.04 was 400 megabytes of RAM. And Tiny 11 was 212 megabytes of RAM. So we're actually averaging right around Tiny 11 uh, areas. Um, I would like to see Task Manager, but I'm not going to keep you guys for that long. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe and you're out here to do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.